begin the application process the end of your junior year as college applications open August 1st. We recommend that you gather all documents that are necessary and log into californiacolleges.edu. Uh, that portal provides a direct link to the CSU application, the Common application, the UC application, and the Community College application. Have a hard copy of your transcript. This will make it easier for you to look at your courses and your grades and making sure that they're input correctly. Have your social security number memorized or handy, um, or if you don't have a social security number, your DACA number or ITIN um, number. If you don't know this information, please see your counselor and we can help you with this. And then lastly, if you do have to pay for the application, um, have your form of payment ready. UCs and Cal States are no longer requiring the SAT or the ACT. In addition, there's a lot of private universities that are no longer requiring. First, address the prompt. Make sure you directly respond to the question being asked. And second, show and don't tell. Use specific samples and share personal growth learned from your experiences. Third, stay positive. Maintain a positive tone and focus, and don't focus on external hardships or weaknesses. Last, make sure the focus is on you. Bring that main character energy and show them how amazing you really are. We encourage all of our students to apply broadly. Students who are eligible for the fee waiver should be applying to four Cal State and four UC campuses. Students who do not qualify for the fee waiver will be expected to pay $80 for the UC applications and $70 for the Cal State applications. Students applying to public schools like the CSUs and UCs can find and launch their application through their California Colleges account. For students interested in private universities, it's very important to check the school's website for information about their application. Many will use the Common application, but others may use their own platform. How do I decide which college is right for me? Well, when determining which college is right for you, it's important to consider various factors. Some things to consider are size, location, distance from home, housing, the makeup of the student body, extracurricular activities, and the overall atmosphere of the campus. Ask yourself, does the college have the major that I'm considering? Is it impacted? Will I need to consider another major at the college I'm looking at and applying to? So the Cal State uses a combination of a student's A through G GPA and a series of supplemental factors to determine admission eligibility. Because there are 23 Cal State campuses and they vary so dramatically in the level of difficulty that it takes to get in, a student has a 2.5 GPA for their A through G GPA, um, then actually that student will be guaranteed admission into a non-impacted major within a non-impacted campus. So that's really good news for our students. Um, however, if a student is between a 2.0, which is the bare minimum GPA for Cal State, and a 2.5, then the campuses will use a different uh, determination of supplemental factors to decide whether or not that student will be admitted. So the supplemental factors can include things such as their individual math or science GPA, or um, financial hardship, or first-generation college student, or extracurricular involvement. Apply early for scholarships. There's so many out there and it's not only for seniors. Other grade levels uh, have scholarships available for them as well. There's a lot of search engines online that you can register for and they'll notify you about different scholarships that you apply for and um, you shouldn't pay anyone to apply for a scholarship. Apply early for financial aid uh, for the most amount of aid uh, while the federal Pell Grant and California um, Cal Grant are guaranteed funds if you qualify. There are other funds like grants and uh, school-based scholarships that are limited. And once they are used up, they are gone. Know that you are not alone in this journey. If you have any questions or you bump into any problems on your college application, please attend the college application workshops. Your counselors are there to help you. We leave you with one final tip. Mark your calendar for GGUSD's 2023 College Fair on Tuesday, September 26th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at the Great Wolf Lodge in Garden Grove. High school juniors and seniors will have the opportunity to learn more about the college admission process and meet with representatives from more than 100 public and private colleges and universities. Students, as you plan for your future, this is one event you won't want to miss. And the best part about it is it's free. That's right, free. So come on down to the Great Wolf Lodge on Tuesday, September 26th, starting at 6.30 p.m.